we did the, the first proper Grand Megas demo uh, we did with a guy called One Man, Frederick uh, Vanman is his name. And he had a studio in the rehearsal kind of cl- complex where we had a rehearsal room. Uh, and so we did the first demo and then we recorded the first album with Fred in Das Boot. And then when it came time to do our second album, we decided to um, go back to uh, one man studio in the rehearsal complex where we were, you know, to keep it really simple. That meant we didn't have to carry any gear or anything like that. We could just be where we were anyway. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, he he was a great guy to record with because he's very musical and uh, he comes from more more like a pop background. Uh, so we did our second album, Monument, there. This is inside a mountain, you know, like a, a bomb shelter type building. <clears throat> so we did Monument, we did Wolf's Return, and then uh, one man, uh, together with another guy, bought a big bought. They they managed to get a a much bigger studio in Stockholm City, and they renamed it Ram Titam. Uh, so the reason we recorded in that studio more than anything else was that we were working with one man. You know, so he moved, so we moved. Uh, and this was a big studio, uh, had a big room uh, and lots of um, adjacent rooms that you could use for uh, miking and everything like that. <clears throat> and um, Iron Will, I guess, was our breakthrough album, kind of. It got a lot of attention um, and everyone seemed to like it a lot. Uh, but I can tell you it was not an easy record to make. Uh, the recordings were difficult. The mixing was difficult. And I remember distinctly that I, um, after all the vocals were done and we listened to like rough mixes, I just felt that no, that doesn't work. I have to redo like 90% of all the vocals. So that was, that was not fun. Um, um, but I guess it was worth it, you know, in the end. But the whole process really was really difficult. And uh, when we we had the finished album, uh, you know, I think many people thought, you know, when they heard it that, you know, this must have been really easy to make. But it wasn't. We We didn't know what we had until, you know, after a while when we realized that, hey, this is... This is pretty fucking good, you know. Uh, but at the time, it was, um, you know, it, it felt uh, like something you you just wanted to get rid of, to be honest. This is a studio where we recorded Iron Will in uh, 2008. Uh, and we uh, actually have some memorabilia here. Um, and this is for uh, Wolf's Return because we recorded that one with the, the same guy, Fredrik Vemmann. Uh, and we won some prizes actually here in Sweden and got some nice reviews and stuff. Um, and this studio is still up and running. One of the few left in, in this city actually, uh, which warms my heart to see. And this is... Um, this is the, the main room that we recorded in. I'm just so uh, amazed that it's still <laughs> up and running. It's really cool. Because like I said, there's not many studios, proper yeah. studios left. Okay, so that's the, uh, here's the actual album then, uh, Iron Will. Uh, and behind that, this is pretty cool. This is the first seven inch that we ever put out. It's, uh, it's on Southern Lord Records. And it's a song called Twilight Train that we recorded with Frederick, uh, one man, uh, Van Man, uh, in, uh, before, uh, in 99 or 2000, I think, uh, in another studio that, had, that he had that we also used as a rehearsal room or pretty close to it. Uh, and it's backed with a Spiritual Beggars track. 
uh, one of the last tracks they did with uh, their original singer uh, Spice whom I replaced later on so uh, it's pretty weird <laughs> but very cool uh, and very cool that Frederick has put it up here uh, I haven't seen this in a while actually so this was this was uh, the first kind of logo or idea we had with this uh, wizard figure that I actually drew it's not much of a drawing, but it's a pretty cool thing, I think. And the old logo. Twilight Train, um, recorded in 99 or 2000. And I will. We also did <coughs> two other albums with uh, one man. Uh, Wolf's Return and uh, Monument, our second album. So there you have it. And now to 